Whoa, what the? Where do we just end up? I was just going through the portal in our world, and we've just ended up here. Where is this place? Hold on a minute. This place looks kind of familiar. Have I? I haven't been here before, but I've seen this somewhere. I don't know. This is this is kind of weird. This is that's a big clock over there. That's insane. And look, there's a stick over there. What is that stick all about? Whoa, what the? How did? I was just going for that stick, and now I've ended up back here, back, back home. But <laughs> that was weird. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know if I want to go through that portal again for a little bit. I, I might just stay away from that for a while. Now I've realised that we actually need a somewhere to live, and not that there's nothing wrong with our little starter area, but yeah. But this bed isn't really gonna cut it out. I need a warm, cozy place, and also my storage is already full of blocks. There's no room, and these cows are too loud to be sleeping next to. <laughs> So I've had the idea to clear out this area and put a house here. But actually, it's going to be multiple houses. Multiple small houses with all uses that will add up to be one house. So I say, let's just collect some materials and get to work on that. And now with everything gathered up, after two hours, we finally got everything in these chests. And let's jump right into a time lapse. So I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. It was a pretty big build. It took me a little while to get it all done. But overall, it looks super amazing. And I, I've been busy with the moss. I've used a lot of bone meal. And I've been mossifying the whole area. Because I want to change it out from the gravel. And maybe even change all the grass to be moss. I don't know. Am I crazy? Or does it just look nicer? I think it does. Once we add the grass and the foliage and all that kind of stuff. And some flowers. It'll look a lot cleaner. But uh, we've got some paths now. Now we come up here. And obviously we go through... And this is our starter base. We've got our house. So this is where we sleep and keep some of our prized possessions maybe in here. And display them in the item frame. So nice living quarters. And then we follow down here. And we've got a nice little wheat farm. A little crop field that we could put to any crops to be honest. Uh, but I just thought I'd chuck some wheat in for now. Especially as we need a lot of mud as well. Then following the path again we turn left. And we enter our storage room. So this gives us a ton more storage. With barrels being the foundation of the base and also about inside and a ton of chests and a little crafting station coming back out and on the right we then come up here and we've got a little expensive anvil station a couple of furnaces a blast furnace and some more barrels but i'm thinking of swapping this furnace out and putting a smoker in and that's pretty much everything that's going to be in here but i think overall this is the perfect starter base because it has all the fundamentals of everything you need at the start of minecraft and look at that sun that's actually really nice but also you, you might have noticed uh, this white wall by here now i actually ran out while i was trying to do the uh, the outlines of this these ideas and uh, i realized we need some villagers we need some uh, enchanting books we need some blocks and resources 
and i thought the best way to get them is to trade with some villagers so we're gonna bring some villagers over and we're gonna build them some houses and i thought they'd look perfect just like a little street town thing going on and it would be perfect but actually before we do that i want to clear out all of this forest and i mean i want to take a huge chunk out like this entire area within this frame maybe not all of it but a lot of the trees and bamboo because it gives me a better idea of what actually we have to work with in the future so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go mining and get some diamond tools Well, 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 would you look at that? After hours of constantly just slicing down bamboo and taking down so many orc and jungle trees, I went through lots of axes and I went through a lot of swords and I got a fresh sword now. Look how open this area is. This is actually insane. And like, as you could see in the time lapse, we've got so much room now and so much land that I didn't realize was actually quite buildable on. And I, I will be digging this a lot further back as well. I just thought we'd take out a little bit for now. Now, before we get those diamonds, so I want to craft a brush and we got our copper and our feather and our stick. And there we go, because I found one of these, one of these uh, trail ruins. And I thought, uh, you know, you could get some pretty sick loot, some random loot. And I, I mean, it's just worth exploring for once because it's my first time actually going through one of these, I think. So let's run a little quick time lapse of me speed running through this. Right then, it's been about an hour. That was like, that took a lot longer. I didn't realize how big this thing was going to be. Look at all this loot. Look at all these templates that we got. We got like three different ones. We got Shaper, Horst, and Razor. That is mental. And I also found a little bit of copper that we mined up. But we got tons of mud out of this. Tons of the same discs, the, the relic. We filled up two chests, practically. And with just a bunch of blocks, a lot of gravel, obviously, that I had to get through. And a couple of other things. And uh, this dude is not talking about that. But uh, let me show you the actual size <laughs> of how much I had to go through. Look at all this. I literally had to dig all of this out. It is insane. But we're going to take all the loot back. And I'm never coming back here again. Because <laughs> that has been fully looted. So on my journey from the trail ruins, I found a boat and the boat had a name tag. That's right. And so, if you remember, I asked you guys to name this parrot. So after looking through all the suggestions, we came to terms with Perry. So, meet Perry the parrot. Now, you may have noticed, okay, I've gone up 10 levels since the last clip. And yes, <laughs> that's a lot. And I had to cook so much copper and go mining for so much copper but it's worth it, okay? Because before we go diamond mining, I want to try and get Fortune 3. So, we're going to finish this, and then I'm going to enchant my diamond pickaxe. Right, all my cows are dead, and they had good use for this. So that's the main reason we needed them. So let's put this in here, and please... Are you serious? Oh, I gotta go get a grindstone now. Fortune 2. Right, that is terrible. But I mean, it's better than nothing. So for now, we will use it to get at least diamond armor and diamond tools. And then once we get these villages in, we'll try and get some good trades. So let's go get some diamonds. And after a successful diamond trip, we got full diamond armor, full diamond tools, and I got some leftovers in a chest. But now it's time to finally build those villager houses. I've collected all the blocks, and it's time to jump into another time lapse.
And there we go, the houses are officially complete, looking really, really nice. They're actually like pretty, pretty sick, and they actually perfectly fit in here, and I don't know how many times I just said actually. But let me give you a little tour, let's go right to the start. Actually, technically both sides of the start. We come down, we come in here. A nice little small one this is, for a little two-bedroom, a uh, little apartment, you could say, for the villagers. With some some colourful colours, that's what we like. We want lots of colours we want to mix into this area. And a shelf, and some lights, and a little bit of decoration. Coming through, we got a couple of these barrels, chests, these campfires set up, and uh, we got some more over here as well. But the second house coming here, this is a bigger house. This is the biggest house. So you come in, a couple of bookshelves. We got three beds in this one, so there'll be about three or four villagers living in here. Just some stuff, you know, in a house. A nice kitchen area that I actually managed to like perfectly separate. I don't know, like, yeah, quite cool. But we got this cool little dining table set up and obviously the kitchen area set up as well and then heading out to the final house we got this nice little uh, hangover bit i don't know what it's actually called but uh it looks pretty cool and we got this little muddy messy area i put just in the corner as well it's sort of like like damp and like not really in the sun so it kind of gets damaged all the grass does we're coming in it's a quite a tight space this is but we made the most of it this is like the librarian's house we're gonna have two or three librarians living in here and obviously with the lecterns and stuff and uh, that's how we get all our enchanting books. So all we gotta do is get some villagers and we'll throw them all in here. So let's go gather a couple quick. Hey, there's some villagers. Nice, let's get them to follow. Will they just follow straight to this? Or is he trapped? Oh, he actually might be trapped on the edge here. <laughs> we have to help him get up. There you go, you're saved. I don't know how long you've been trapped there. But uh, follow this, exactly. Take the job and then let's do this all the way back home. This could be painful. Right, that was a nightmare. Let me tell you, we've got two villagers in here. We got a shepherd. From this thing and this dude is a fisherman right because as i was bringing him over he got super attracted to these one billion barrels that i've got set up so that was probably not smart but um as long as we don't trade with him over time he should change to a uh, a farmer but i don't feel like bringing any more villagers over that is horrible i did not enjoy it one bit it took 30 minutes and i don't want to spend hours doing it so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to breed these two villagers up and then just move the babies into each of these houses and that should be a lot lot easier but that's something we'll obviously do off cam as it's not really what you guys want to <laughs> come here to see so let's give half a stack of bread to you please take it how dare you take the bread did i pick it up cool there you are the bread you get the bread no you, you both stole the bread you took all the bread i'm gonna have to go get more bread for you now now let's try this again you take the bread no, did you just take it again? How did you do that? I'm just gonna have to keep throwing bread in here until something happens. Oh, well, I saw that I did my spare time. I feel like we need something else in this area. There's a big open gap here. And I don't want to just throw some more barrels here. I feel like we need to do something or use something. And what I want to try is using this bundle to go over to the portal. And let's try and pick up some more of that magic. Remember that magic we had and we threw it at the portal? Well, maybe if we throw it at our base, or we maybe plant it, it could actually create something. So, I don't know. Let's let's try and pick some of this up. Whoa. There we go. I think, yeah, let's go. We got some magical essence. Let's go. That's, I'm glad that worked. That's pretty cool. That's pretty handy. I don't know how much magic we can actually take from that. Or we might have to stock up. That'd be pretty handy. So, let's give it a go. Let's let's dig a little hole here. Let's, let's actually dig it down a bit. And then we're going to throw in this and uh oh, hang on we should probably seal it up shouldn't we so magical essence cover it up and i'm gonna let it do its thing hopefully the rain will do something as well but i don't know but let's let that do its thing Right, I heard some weird noises then. There was some... I don't know what that was. <laughs> what has happened? What is all this? It's like three trees. Four trees. Is this there any more trees? I think that's a lot of trees. And there's all these banners have popped up as well. This is insane. Hold on, let me have a look at this. There's some cool palm trees. Some beautiful trees. With some small blossoms in as well. Nice. And some light hanging off. And another one by here. And uh, this actually makes the area look nice. This magic is like 
It's pretty cool. This magic knows how to terraform. It's pretty clever. Look, we got all the flowers, some grass, some ferns. This just looks beautiful coming down here. All right, let me go in F1. There we go. This is insane. This is super nice. I don't think we get something so nice or just a small little area. That's just phenomenal. Now, all the villagers have been breeded up and have grown up. And so here they all are. They all got different jobs. I haven't bought anything off them yet because I don't, don't need anything. But uh, they're still handy to have. But I just want to get a look at like, at like all this. This is crazy. It's, it even comes through you. Ah, and they put it through you. Nice. This, I really like this banner thing. Where it's like, where it's like half towels, half banners and like flags and stuff. And that's pretty cool. And that tree is like beautiful. And we need to get more of this magic and start planting everywhere. Maybe we'll just build the Hoodle city for us. But uh, Haven is coming along great now. Right then, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out all the links in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.